What's up guys, Hawks and Termier, and today as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we are trying something a little new. Now, a few years ago I did post some fitness videos and some exercises, but not gonna lie, the old me was, uh, she's a little cringe. So today I'm trying to revamp my channel and make a little bit more fitness oriented videos. Shh. So today, appropriately enough, we're starting with five tips to help you start off on your fitness journey. Now, I don't want to take up too much time before we actually get into it, but if you're here trying to learn how to start or where to start or some tips to help you start. Let me just say that I'm super honored that you came here. Be sure to subscribe if you like the video because I'll have tons of other tip videos and reviews and exercises and just kind of a little bit of anything. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first tip we're going to go over is that you need to be hard on yourself, but not too hard. You need to be hard enough to push your limits, but also be realistic at the same time. You need to realize that something is better than nothing. If you're giving it your all and you're pushing yourself to the max, but you're still not really doing too much or too much weight or anything like that, you need to realize that something is better than nothing. You should be proud of yourself just for taking those first few steps, because there's a lot of people out there that won't even try and do anything to better themselves. So don't try and kill yourself starting out and try and run like, four miles or try to deadlift like 200 pounds because it's just not realistic but it does lead us into our second tip so for number two on our list we've got setting goals <laughs> so whether it's a long term or short term goals are a crucial part in your fitness journey goals can come in many forms you might want to be able to lift a certain weight. you might want to be able to be a certain weight, do so many reps run so far and so much more they can come in so many different shapes and sizes so before I even start an exercise no matter what I always put a number in my head of how many reps I'm gonna do because that way it gives me something to push forward to and I'm more motivated to get that number the camera died we'll be, we'll be back but anyway so but anyway, so when I do reach that goal that I set for myself, it makes me feel amazing and it makes me want to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and then I realize that, hey, you set goals, you break goals, stop! Number three on our list is to try and make a schedule. Try and make a workout schedule. It doesn't have to be anything strict. Try and plan around things so you have time to work out. So when I make plans, I'm more motivated and more likely to actually go to the gym that day and not simp out on them. <laughs> Another reason making a schedule is beneficial is like I said, you'll be able to hit certain muscle groups on certain days. This way you don't continuously work the same muscles out over and over and over again. It isn't good for muscle regrowth. If you can't stick to a certain schedule, then try finding out how many days a week you wanna work out. If you wanna work four out of the seven of the days of the week, just find four days that week that work best for you. Number four on our list, we got recovery. Like I said earlier, continuous exercise of the same muscles over and over and over again is bad for regrowth. When you work out, you're actually little science tip you're actually breaking down your muscles so recovery time is so important because this is the time when they build back up and when they build back up they build back bigger and stronger the first time you do like a big heavy workout not gonna lie to you guys not gonna sugarcoat it you're gonna be hurting real bad for a couple of days personally i recommend soaking in epsom salt i didn't look it up so i don't know like the actual benefits benefits beneficial the benefits of it but i do know that it's always helped me over time as you work out more frequently your body's just going to get used to it so recovery time will go down and eventually you might even get to the point where you can work out day after day after day uh, there are different supplements that can assist you in this process but don't let the fancy scientific names and the hefty price tags confuse you just drinking protein shakes on their own without working out isn't going to build muscle because all they do is help create the amino acids that build up the muscle tissue so don't expect some miracle but they can assist you in trying to build muscle if you put the work in as well as drinking them and for my final tip for this video we've got tracking what you eat now this really isn't for everybody but personally when i've found that i track my calories burned compared to uh, my calories consumed i'm more motivated to eat healthier and work out more multiple studies have actually shown that tracking what you eat and your physical activity is a very effective way to try and lose weight in my opinion tracking what you eat in a day actually makes you more aware of what you're putting into your body and then you start to see it as how much work am i gonna have to do to burn this off if you eat a Snickers bar, it's going to take about an hour and a half of walking just to burn it off. So it kind of makes you start to second guess your choices and you're kind of like, oh, is this actually worth it? Being active, you will actually need to eat more though to, you know, make up for those calories that you are burning. Personally, I use the MyPlay app, the one I'm going to recommend to you guys, because you can just like literally just scan the barcode of the food and it'll automatically put everything in and you just put the serving size and you're done. Plus it takes into account all of the calories that you've burned from exercise and from walking and stuff like that. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you're thinking about starting off on your fitness journey, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other fitness videos. And stay tuned because, like I said earlier, I've got tons planned in the future. If you have any questions, requests, or anything else you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments down below because I always check my comments. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment if you're new to my channel, subscribe. It really made my day, and I'll see you guys next time for weekly videos. Peace. As a matter of fact, I actually just just got home from the gym, so that's why that's why I be looking like this. <laughs> bonus tip, good music. Bring headphones. Bonus tip, bonus, bonus, bonus tip. Let me introduce myself. My name is Hump. Third generation five. Can I just point out that I sang so hard a vein popped out? Yeah. You think I'm a so whether it's long term or short term, goals are a fitness freak.